Hello friends, in this session, we will see how we can change the location of domain. Okay, so why the change of location is required? Sometimes it is happened that uh, even in production as well, okay, when we create a domain, we create it inside the same folder where we have our Oracle home. That means in the installation folder. And when you initiate uh, the default configuration wizard and when you select the default location of domain as well, okay, user underscore project, it is, it, it is created inside the same Oracle home location, okay, but it is not the recommended way. For testing purposes, it is fine, but when we go for a production domains, okay, it is not recommended because most of the time when we go for an upgrade, okay, the, during the upgrade, the upgrade is now is coming in a way that we call as an out of place upgrade. That means our Oracle home would be a completely a different Oracle home from the existing uh, your Oracle home. Okay, that means you have to install the new software and then you have to rewire your domain with the new binaries or the new installations. That means your Oracle home is going to be changed when you are going for an upgrade. Okay, in that case, if you have your domain inside the Oracle home directory, then you would not able to remove that directory. Okay, that uh, old Oracle home directory because your domain is exist inside your or old Oracle home. Okay, so in such situations, we encountered a situation where we have to change the location of, of our domain, which would be outside our Oracle home. Okay, so if you are in such situation, okay, then you go, go through this video and see how we can change the location of a domain, which you can uh, execute on your local lab as well as for practice purpose as well. You can create two domains, okay, one domain, and then you can, uh, with the help of this particular action plan, you can execute, take the backup of that uh, uh, primary domain and then you can create a new domain from a different location okay and the action plan for this would be stop all servers in the domain first you have to stop all of your servers and node along with your node manager in the domain which you want for which you want to change the location of domain take the backup of your existing entire domain directory take a, a backup of your domain okay create a complete copy of your existing domain directory and after that you have to create a template of your existing domain okay so what we are going to do is we are creating a template of our existing domain and using that template we will create another domain in the different location okay so uh, create for creating a domain you will have a command pack dot cmd in uh, windows okay if it is a unix based then you will have a pack dot sh okay and go to inside your oracle home and then oracle underscore common common bin directory and inside that you will have a command pack and then run the pack command as the syntax i have given okay pack dot cmd or sh okay and then hyphen domain this is the location of the domain current domain for which you are going to create a template the name of hyphen uh, template file with the syntax hyphen template equal to the complete location where you want to save the template location template file with a dot jar extension okay and then template name which would you can give any name for that and hyphen managed equal to true okay once you will run this command then you can see the output in my screen Okay, it will take some time based on the size of your domain and it will create a jar file, which is called a template file for your domain. So now you have created a template file, your existing domain. Okay, so now what we will do is we will create another domain in a new location. Okay, but with the help of this template so that our all the domain configuration is reflected in the new domain. But only thing that is going to be changed is the path of my new domain. Okay, then copy the template to all the servers, all the servers in the sense if you have a uh, clustering, horizontal clustering, okay, then you have a um, domain scattered around the multiple machines, right? So you have to change the location across all domains. So copy this jar file in all servers. If you do not have a horizontal cluster, if you have a single server, then you can place it somewhere in the your primary server. After that, you have to launch the domain configuration wizard, and then you have to create a new domain, okay? And when you are going to create the new domain, you have to specify the new domain location. And apart from that one, all the configurations would remain same. So you are not, not going to change anything apart from the domain location when you are going to create your new domain, okay? So this is the first uh, screen when you will initiate the configuration wizard with the help of config.cmd or config.sh script, okay? Then it will prompt you for uh, to, to the domain location, okay? Then select a create a new domain. And because now we are going to a different location for our domain, then specify the new location of your domain. So now in my case, it would be lab domain three. My previous domain was lab domain two. So I'm moving it to a different location with name lab domain three, right? And make sure this is, this should be the new location of your domain, okay? Which would be outside your Oracle home, okay? In a different location. After that, when it will prompt you for the template, okay? Then select the option, create domain using customer custom template, right? Because we have created a custom, custom template for the domain two, okay? And by exporting, uh, that uh, uh, that particular template, or we are importing it here in the new domain. Okay, simply. 
So select here the location uh, of that particular jar file which you have created in the step one, okay, and along with the file name, okay. And once it is selected, click on next, and then it will prompt you for username and password, okay. And then I would recommend to keep it the same as was in the domain one, okay, previous domain. After that, it will prompt you for the domain mode. It will select automatically by default. Just go with the existing one. And on the configurations or advanced configuration screen, don't select anything because we are going to retain all the configuration as we have in the previous domain. So you don't need to select anything. Click on next. Okay, it will list all, out you all the configurations of your, of, of your domain from the template file and click on create. Okay, it will take some time and the new domain will be created. So now we have a domain in different location. Okay, but the content would be as of the old domain okay now again go to your new domain location inside bin directory start your node manager manage servers and admin servers and then log in with that and you will see that it is working fine in the new location and if you wanted to pack and unpack your domain to rest of the physical machines as i said if you have a horizontal clustering where you have multiple servers and you want to uh, to pack and unpack uh, the new locations in your other physical machines as well then go to your primary machine where you have admin server running right where you have created the primary domain there you have to run the pack command. Okay, with the pack command, you will create a new jar file for your domain. And now just copy this file, jar file to all the physical servers. Now go to all the servers and then take the backup or move the existing domains and then create a new domain with the help of unpack command. Okay, once you will unpack the command, make sure to specify the domain location as the new location. Okay, so here you can see that I have specified the domain as lab domain three because I was moving my domain from lab domain two to lab domain three. Okay, then and then the override domain true and then the location of my template which I have taken with created in the pack command. Okay, and then the location of my application directory and this will extract once it is done you can start your manage servers as well. So this is a simple method of moving your domain from one location to different locations and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos.